Hello everybody and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra T Designs and today I have the first page in my waterfall journal. So let's jump right in. So if you didn't see me create this, I did this in Monday's video. I can have that linked for you to go and check it out. And I did make this journal in that page, did a cover page and bound this kind of neat journal. And then in this video, I am going to decorate that first page. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I had no idea what I intended to do with this. Um, I... I have a tendency to be a more is more style creator. So sometimes I am a bit over the top. So you guys let me know if I did more than I needed to while decorating this, but I was just having a lot of fun. So I, uh, it just kind of kept going. So it got a little, um, there's a lot of stuff going on in this page, but I had a lot of fun making it. So that's okay. So you saw me cut out the Tim Holtz stitched slot die this is an old die and this is funny it's the first time i've ever used it and i cut it out of some vellum that is heat safe so i'm gonna white heat emboss these images and i have two stamp sets here from tim holtz these are the field notes and the eccentric stamps and i'm doing it i'm stamping them without a block because i want them to be imperfect i want there to just be some interest and texture on these slots here because we're going to stick some stuff in them but i didn't want them to just be plain vellum i wanted there to be a little bit of interest so i did stamp random images i just picked out ones that i thought looked neat i wanted some circles i wanted some rectangles um i think i even pull out a little stamp that has three stars on it like i just grabbed random stamps out of these two stamp sets and just kind of at stamped them wherever I felt like it would look cool. So they are imperfect. There's no perfect stamping with this, but I like the texture and the interest and really it's not going to be what catches your eye to start with anyways. So it doesn't really matter if they're perfect. Uh, and I did treat the vellum with an anti-static powder tool just because uh, it is very uh, winter here. So there is a bit more static in the air so it is an attempt to have my embossing powder not adhere to everything for fun I did kind of try to treat them first and I am just using a white heat and white embossing powder for this just because I mean you could have brought in say you had uh, like a purple that would look really pretty or a blue silver would look nice um, but I went white just because I was trying not to have this be too eye-catching Maybe we'll do some vellum later in this and we'll do it in more of a color. I don't own much for colored embossing powders for some reason, um, but I do own some of the Distress embossing glazes and that would probably be really cool on vellum. So we might have to try that. I have an idea for a uh, vellum envelope in this later. So we'll have to see what, uh, what, where this goes because I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I just, I just kind of put it together and now we're going to do stuff with it. <laughs> And then I brought in some score tape just so I could adhere the outsides. I am only putting the score tape on both of the sides and then the bottom because as I said, I want to be able to stick things into the slots. That's its purpose. There is a pattern paper in the Enchanted Christmas Papers that has these really cool tickets. You'll see them here in a minute when I bring them out. Uh, and I fussy cat those because I thought they were super neat. And you will get to see Ember. She does pop in. That clip is a little long, but I didn't want to cut out Ember. So <laughs> you're going to see me fussy cut for a bit longer than I normally would leave. Um, but I know you guys love to see my cats. So and she doesn't appear very often, so I did kind of leave her in. Uh, and I chose to cut th two of these just because there was the space um, in the length. So I wanted there to be enough room to kind of put two things and then just adhere. Or I just kind of slide random stuff inside of it. Because I thought that those would look neat. And I did try to center it to the page. I didn't measure anything. You guys know that I tend to eyeball things a lot. That's just kind of how I roll. Um, but you could absolutely measure this and actually center them. I didn't. And once again, I'm not even going to measure anything. I'm just going to eyeball this one being uh, lined up with that one up kind of higher up on the page. But yeah, I'm going to have things stick out of this. Like there's no right or wrong with this project. It's really just, you know whatever I feel like doing at the time. So if you guys have any suggestions for it, please let me know. We have a lot of pages to decorate with this. So if you have any ideas or techniques you'd like to see me try, let me know. Uh, I do read all of the comments. I, it takes me a little bit to answer because I usually have to set aside time to sit down and answer the comments so that I can give you guys the time to read them and make sure that I answer if you have questions or that kind of thing. Um, but I always read them pretty quickly after a video goes up. It just takes me a little time sometimes to respond. 
Um, but yeah, if you have any thoughts on what we could do in this journal, let me know. Because I'm always super curious what you guys would like to see. As I mean, at the end of the day, yes, I want to create videos that I enjoy creating, but I also want to, you know, if there's something you want to learn and I know how to do it, I would love to show you. So please leave me ideas if you have any. Um, so I did kind of cut along the edge of that. You saw me use some shears just to cut all those strips out so that I have them on the side in case I want to use any of those images. So that's kind of what I did with that sheet. And keep in mind, there are two of each sheet in the pack. So I have another sheet exactly like this if I wanted to use it for some other purpose. But I felt like these tags were just really cool. So I am going to fussy cut out all of them. Um, you're only going to see me do the purple ones and you're only going to see it for this long because Ember is about to pop in and then she's going to chase it as I try to trim it, which is really cute. Uh, but I did also fussy cut the green and the blue ones because I am going to add those in as well. I just thought this was kind of fun. So yeah, that's what I'm kind of working on it with this. How was your guys' Christmas? Did you guys have fun? Did you get to see your family? What did you get up to? If you didn't celebrate Christmas, what did you do instead? Because there wouldn't be anything really open. Um, the only thing that I know was open here would have been uh, the gas station. So it's not like you could have really gone shopping or anything. So what did you get up to? Do you have any plans for New Year's? Um, it is my dating anniversary with my husband on the first. We've been together eight years, uh, married for four. So it's really exciting. We both work, so we're not doing anything exciting. But um, it is that uh, that day, so that's really exciting. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys are up to because I'm always curious what you're doing. Did you get to craft? That would be my dream day to just spend a bunch of time creating things because I uh, I do love to do that. And I do have some fun stuff coming up. I really, I have this great idea for a journal and I really want to get into it. I just had to finish up a couple of things. And of course, um, if you didn't know, I am on the Scrapbook Pal design team. So I have some cards on their channel as well that are pretty neat. So I'm pretty excited about those. So yeah, just, you know, lots going on all the time. And then uh, we are looking at taking a trip. So that's always exciting as well. So you saw me fussy cut that down the purple one and I have also done the green one. I'll do the blue one as well in a minute, but I was kind of playing with where I wanted these to sit. And then I brought a deer out of the fussy, the, the cut aparts. So you have to fussy cut the images. Um, so I cut this out myself. I loved the images in their fussy cuts. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this collection from the last video that I did, but there's a lot of really great elements. So I'm kind of trying to introduce different ones throughout this so we can kind of take a look at them all. I'm going to show you the embossed die cuts here in a second. So these are already cut out, but they are joined in like three little areas. Uh, so I picked out a snowflake from this and this really pretty little... I guess it's a light bulb. I'm not, I think it's a light bulb, but there's a, it's like a light bulb shape, but there's a candle inside of it. You'll see it here in a second when I actually hold it up so you can kind of see what it is, but it's really pretty and it's embossed. So it almost looks like, um, like a clear embossing or like a glossy accents is on top. Very, very pretty. You'll see it catching the light here when I kind of hold it up and show you guys. And then of course that deer eye fussy cut out myself. And I'm just kind of adhering them. You guys know that I like uneven numbers. So I have three elements on the page and then I will have three sets of tickets as well. So that kind of, and then they're cut into different amounts um, just because I found that to be kind of the best way to do it. And then for the final element that I'm going to bring in, I brought in, this is the cover page from that um, pattern paper. And there is some sentiments on the back of the page, but I chose to cut out the front because I wanted this little snowman guy. I thought he was so cute. And I brought out a, uh, this is a die from the Tim Holtz tag collection set. So it's just a whole bunch of different size tags. Um, and I don't know my tag sizes, so I'm not sure what size this would be. Uh, but I just thought that this was super cute and that he would tuck in perfectly to that little um, slot that I cut out earlier. And then this piece of ribbon that I'm using here to tie it was actually what was holding the chiffon ribbons together earlier. Um, that's what I'm using to use this because I used the chiffon ribbon on the cover page and this piece was holding that together. Like it held the roll together. So I just stole it and I used it to put it through the tie because I thought it was really cute and it matches the color of the chiffon ribbon that's on the front. So I thought that was really fun. 
And then I did also bring in some of the Tim Holtz word tags. And this is just the little star that's in a little circle. And I have a little bulb pin that I'm going to use to kind of just poke through that little chiffon ribbon and just have a little dangly piece because more is more. And I don't know when to stop. <laughs> and because I thought it was just super cute. So I'm pretty happy with how these pages turned out. Honestly, again, I probably, you know, didn't need to add as many things as I did, uh, but I was having fun. So you kind of get, you know, a little distracted and then I just keep adding things because I usually watch videos while I create so it's kind of fun to to watch videos and just have a play with whatever I'm making and then this is what happens and it gets a little bit uh overboard but I had a lot of fun creating it so it's pretty exciting so here I'm going to show you it up close so you guys can get a better look at everything that's kind of included here I hope you can kind of see that embossing glaze look on top of those pieces it just looks really pretty and it's really neat in person sadly the camera doesn't always catch quite how pretty these projects are but that is the project i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed it leave me a like leave me a comment and consider subscribing if you haven't already i do new videos every monday and thursday thank you so much guys and i will see you again very soon Bye bye for now